Hey guys, it's Ashley with AMJ Graphics. Today's video, we will learn how to create a layered SVG. This finished digital product can be used to cut vinyl and place on t-shirts, bags. The possibilities are endless. And I just wanna let you know before we start, this is for personal use only. Uh, please check with the creator for commercial use. So just remember that you're not able to sell these. This is just for commercial use. This is just an example. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab an image off Google. So I'm gonna go bring up Google and I'm gonna type in unicorn cat coloring page. I'm gonna go on the top and it says all and then it says images. I'm gonna click images. I'm gonna use this little cat right here and I'm gonna click it and then I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna copy image. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Inkscape and I'm going to paste the image. Okay, so now we have the image. We are gonna take this image and we're wanting to turn it into a path. So, since this is an image that I've copied and got from Google, I'm gonna go up to path on your toolbar, your path tab, click the path tab and go down to trace bitmap. Okay, it's gonna pull up this little box. We're gonna make sure that we, where it says single scan, you can see it's selected. We're gonna go over and select multiple scans. We're gonna see where it says brightness steps. We're gonna drop down the box and we're gonna click colors. So when we're scanning the image, we're wanting, wanting it to recognize the colors. And then down here it says scans. You're gonna look at your image and you're gonna see how many colors. Okay, so we're gonna look at our image and we're gonna see that there is black. There's one color. So you always go up one more for your scan. So it's always gonna be, we're gonna go up one more, so that'll make it two. We're gonna make sure that the smooth and the stack box are unchecked and we're going to check the remove background because we do not want this white background on our image. Okay. And then we're gonna click update and then click okay. We can close out of this box. We're going to select on our image and pull it off. Now, we can see that the image that we copied down here in the bottom underneath the color swatches, it'll say that that's the image. We don't want that no more. So we're going just to press the delete key on our keyboard and delete that image. Here is the image we want. It'll tell you at the bottom, it says it's a path. We can check that by on the on the left toolbar, the nodes, click on that, and you can see that it has cut marks so our Cricut or cutting machine can recognize it. So we've did that right. If you can see, we're gonna zoom up, we'll press, we have, we're selected on the image, so we're gonna press number three. Scroll down, and you can see where it's copied, the getcoloringpages.com. I'm going to click the nodes again and see it's telling our Cricut that it's going to cut that little bitty stuff down here. Well, I don't want it to cut that. So I'm going to left click on my mouse and draw a box around the nodes that I do not want Cricut to cut. You can see that they're highlighted because they're highlighted in blue and I'm going to press delete. Okay, so now I have the image that I want. Now, we're going to create a layered SVG. Okay, so now we're wanting to color in this the SVG. Okay, so I'm going to do the fur first. And I'm gonna go over on my left hand toolbar and click the fill bucket where it says fill bounded areas. I'm gonna click it and then I'm gonna go down and get a color that I like and I'm gonna color in gray and then another 
reminder is the closer you get to whichever area you're filling, the more accurate fill it will have. So I'm gonna do its ear, and again, I'm pressing the plus button on my keyboard to zoom in, and the minus button to zoom out, so plus button. And you can still see on my image, you can see the white, and we'll take care of that at the very last step. So I filled that. I'm gonna go ahead and fill all the areas gray. Okay, now that I've got all my areas gray, I'm going to click the mouse cursor button on the top left, and it's going to select the last color fill that I did. So I'm going to select all the gray colors. By doing that, I've got that, the first one, his tail selected, and then I'm going to hold the shift key and select all the other grays. Now, when I send this to my Cricut, I want my Cricut to cut out all the grays. So I'm gonna go up to my path, and I'm gonna scroll down to Union. Now I'm gonna fill in the inside of his ears with pink. I'm gonna go over and get my fill bucket. Scroll over to the pink. I'm gonna zoom in with my plus key to get as close as I can and scroll over, fill in the inside of his nose. I can do pink and his cheeks. Now I'm going to hit the select the mouse cursor button to make all the pinks one. I select them all, path, union. Okay. Now I'm deselect it and I'm going to color in his little stripes and his paws. And I'm going to make those a darker gray. Again, get as close as I can for a more accurate fill. Okay, I'm done. So I'm gonna hit the mouse cursor button it selected the last one I filled. I'm gonna hold the shift key and select all the other dark gray areas. And if you select one that you didn't wanna click on, you just click it again and it'll deselect it. All right, so I've got all my gray areas, dark ones, and I'm gonna hit path, union. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do its hair and make sure you're deselected off of everything. Hit the fill bucket, green, and then you hit the mouse cursor, it's selected. Hit off into like the white background just to get off of that image. Hit the paint bucket, do yellow, select it, and hit off so, it, so it's not selected on the yellow anymore. The fill bucket, a red, now there's a red, and there's a red. So I'm going to select, and I'm gonna shift and click on the other red and go up to path, union, okay, deselect off of it, grab my fill bucket again, and do a 
blue. Okay. Now I'm going to color its horn a gold color. And I selected it and I'm going to shift and select all colors and path union. Okay, another thing is, I think these are way too little for Cricut to cut out. Um, I just feel like they'd be more of a pain, so I'm actually going to get rid of them. So, let's go up here on the top left into our nodes. Hi highlight it with a text box. Click delete. Highlight, delete. Highlight, delete. So on, so on. I mentioned in my first video that some people like the checkered background for images that contain white and we can see that as eyes. So the longer that I've done this, I realize and I catch it before I save my image. But if we go up here at the top left and click file, click document properties, you'll see down at the bottom where it says background and has a checkerboard background option. We're going to click that. And then you can you can see that his eyes need color. So I'm going to hit my fill bucket, the white, and I'm going to fill those in. Then I'm going to select them both and path union. Okay. Now we've got it all colored in. And like I said in the beginning, you see how you can, when you get closer, you can see the gap. Well, whenever Cricut cuts that out, you're going to see the gap below there. So if you have an orange shirt, you're going to see tiny little orange outlines of this. We do not want that. So we're going to highlight the outer, the outline, the coloring page. And you can tell by doing this if you just want to move it over and that we know that we've selected the coloring page and if you have watched my shortcut videos you can, you can see to undo that action we can just hit control Z so we know we are selected on the outline we're going to go up to path break apart you'll see a whole bunch of little boxes and we're going to just go path union. Now you can see that it's made a black background for our cat. And if we get closer, there are no gaps in our image. Okay, so sometimes whenever you export it or import your images into Cricut. Sometimes they download in there and they're all scattered around like crazy. So I always like to left click on my mouse and drag a box over the whole entire thing. You see it selects all these things and I like just to put it in a group. So we're going to go to object group and that keeps the um, image together. So now let's save it. I'm going to go up to the top left and click File. Go down to Save As. Always like to make sure I'm in the right folder. Sometimes it does. It just depends on the last thing you saved if it goes in the right folder. If not, just go to Libraries. I like to save it in my documents and I have a specific folder for Inkscape and then I'll just name this file. Drop down to the type of file we want to save and we always want to save it under a plain SVG and click save. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, again, comment below. Send me an email at...